what is going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overlord here showing talking about scream 6 primarily in this video here again today solely nothing but scream 6 we'll be talking about this new new year's poster that they decided to drop on us that has all of the people on the internet in the scream fandom scream reddit scream twitter on youtube just discussing and going crazy over it and all the different ideas and theories i'm seeing online about this poster and giving my thoughts on it as well uh and just sharing what I think this means for the movie that's coming out in less than 60 days at this point, less than 70. Uh, but just to dive into the poster that you see here on your screen, the poster in question, it's mapping out clearly something, of course, related to the New York setting in the upcoming movie. It maps out a design of a ghost face mask, but all of it seems to be connecting dots of old ghost face victims with two survivors that we know still are alive now. Kirby Reed and Sam Carpenter. Everybody else is a past victim or a past ghost face. Sydney and Gail are not present on this for whatever reason. But all of the roads and avenues taking a glance at the poster seem to lead back to Sam Carpenter, which to me indicates that this is indeed going to be another Sam Carpenter centric focus motive in the sense that whatever is going on will be connected to Sam Carpenter. If not Sam Carpenter, somehow it'll be connected to Tara Carpenter. But the fact that Sam's name is the biggest on the map from what I recall that indicates to me and the fact that all the avenues lead back to her that indicates to me that she is at the center of this once again and whatever is going down whatever this person wants this time around it is still just like with screen five since that was her beginning of her trilogy this is going to be continuing that whatever is going on in scream six whatever motive the killer has it's connected to sam carpenter the other interesting thing that i've seen people talk about i pointed it out over on my twitter page i'm just having fun with you guys at this point i'm not very i'm not very serious when i talk about Stu. i'm just telling you now i am not being very serious at all when i mention any excitement about seeing Stu maka return in scream six i'm completely just joking around and having fun with it uh, Stu's name on this map is not highlighted as a white dot the way everyone else's name is. His name is highlighted in the form of a pink dot, pinkish dot, while everyone else's name is white. So that has been a flag to a lot of people thinking that this must mean that in Scream 6, he is going to be revealed alive. I'm telling you right now, that is not going to happen. Scream 6 will not go down the rabbit hole of revealing that Stu Mocker is alive. It's not going to take place in that movie. If it is to take place in a future Scream movie and they are somehow able to execute it well, I will give them all the praise in the world. If they are somehow not able to execute it well and it's executed quite terribly, I am going to come on here and tell you that it was executed quite terribly. But I will go out and tell you this. Stu Mocker is not going to be revealed as alive in Scream 6. It's just not going to happen. He is not going to be the killer. The motive has nothing to do with him. He is not going to be that relevant to anything going on in the movie outside of the references and the fact that there might be an angle in the movie that maybe brings him up as a potential suspect because it genuinely feels as though what they're doing is just continuing what they've already started in Screen 5 and that's somehow bleeding in the talks of Stu being alive in this world now making it a a fun aspect of the actual franchise itself we saw in the last movie went on when we saw the easter egg confirming that kirby reed was alive there was a video title right underneath not right underneath but on that same page on richie's laptop that said is the real Stu Mocker alive meaning that people like people like this exist in this universe now all this simply means to me is that they are going to continue playing with that angle continuing to poke fun at the idea even though he is dead and this is only furthering the idea that they will be the dealing with conspiracy theories in this movie or at least commentating on it to some degree viewer non has already gone out and said that sam carpenter will be dealing with a nasty rumor in this movie that she was the one responsible for killing the people in screen five and that amber and richie were somehow framed and that the daughter of billy loomis really did do it and that she somehow turned the tables on everybody and made the public believe that it was amber and richie you know some wild conspiracy like that that i've already seen people say they can't even see how people would believe anything like that i don't know why that would be far-fetched for you to believe that people would believe something like that there's so many different stupid things that people believe today some people still believe in santa claus <laughs> uh, not to knock anyone who believes in santa claus but i'm just saying just to give an example <laughs> Uh, wild conspiracy theories and people who believing in them that is not anything that's new so them doing this in screen five and having a section of people who believe that that sam somehow did everything in five and that amber and richie are innocent there is nothing that's unrealistic about that at all whatsoever 
I think that this map is just furthering up the talks about the route they will take as it pertains to commentating on conspiracy theories. How they actually do it in the movie and the complete context of it, I will have to wait and see the movie to understand how this actually will be done and if it's executed well. I think that you are going to indeed see this conspiracy about Sam being the killer factor into whatever the killer has planned for her in Scream 6. But I also will again tell you that there, for anyone that's concerned about this, Stu Mocker is not going to be revealed as the killer in Scream 6. It's just not going to happen. And for anyone who wants to know why that is or anything like that, or probably even just saying, how could I know that? I can't know that if I haven't seen the movie. You're right. I haven't seen the movie. However, there is another video I recall doing right around the time Scream 5 was about to come out where I was trying to tell people that Billy Loomis would be returning in Scream 5 and that Skeet Ulrich was reprising his role as Billy Loomis. I even provided evidence in that video. And yet the comments were filled with people who said that Billy Loomis is not returning because he's dead. I never said that Billy Loomis was going to be alive. I said Billy Loomis was going to appear in Scream 5 and what happened he did I am telling you right now in this video Stu Mocker will not appear in the form of being alive in Scream 6 he is not the killer he is still dead as of the as of the sixth movie before it's even released and as of right now that is not happening if they decide to take that route in a future installment all the best of luck to them if they are somehow able to execute it well again as I stated earlier in the video I will praise them throughout the high heavens if they do it poorly I I will trash it but again all this poster is to me indicates that they're really going to play up the talk of conspiracy theories in this movie and it'll somehow factor into a main plot point as it pertains to Sam as it pertains to whatever's going on with the killer and the motive the killer has or something else big that's going on in stream six but Stu Mocker's pink dot it's not an indication that he's alive Kevin Williamson did not lie Kevin Williamson did not lie when he said that Stu is dead, he meant that. As of now, Stu will remain dead. He's not going to return in Scream 6 via being revealed as alive. He's not pulling any strings. It's not going to happen. But you guys can let me know what you think about the poster down in the comment section below. Do you like the poster? Do you not like the poster? Um, if you haven't already, of course, make sure you go ahead and subscribe. Turn on post notifications so that you never miss a video. In the description, I will have links to all my social media accounts. I am on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there, of course, to let me know if there are any movies, news, or reviews you would like me to cover in the future. And with all that in mind, guys, I will see you in the next video.